Hi, and welcome to week three, Land as Promise. So this week, we're going to be looking and continuing our, our, our look at blessing, and I want you to describe the theological meaning of God's promise of land to Abraham. Now, different theological traditions have looked at land in very different ways. When God is giving Abraham land, is he really, as far as from a New Testament perspective, talking that the physical land of Israel uh, is that blessing, or is it more illustrative of um, God's promise of the earth to all believers? And so this week you're going to do some research into that, looking at some differing opinions uh, and trying to argue what you think is most theologically sound. Second, to evaluate different views from the uh, intention of the promise of land in the biblical text. And then finally, to articulate the unity of the Pentateuch, the Old Testament, and the New Testament around the theme and theology of land. So as you, you can see by this week, we are really looking and exploring exclusively this promise of land and what does that mean to believers in the Old Testament and what does that mean to Christians today? With that in mind, you have two assignments, but the first one is an in-depth theology paper. So I'm wanting a full theological analysis in about four pages where you compare and contrast the theses presented by Alexander, Kaiser, and Miller. Um, concurring around the theme of land. Which view do you agree with and why? Now, for this paper, uh, I'm wanting a bibliography. I'm wanting outside research beyond the assigned reading. Uh, I'm wanting solid interaction and evidence from the Bible. Uh, and I'm wanting you to craft, using these authors, but craft a theological position upon which you would stand uh, on where the land fits into contemporary Christian theology. Our second paper is a discussion post, uh, and it's really taking a lot of the research that you're doing for your longer paper, but based upon the reading and your personal reflection, what is the purpose of God's giving the land to Abraham and Abraham's descendants? How is this promise viewed theologically in light of the New Testament? Be sure to support uh, your argument with academic references from at least two commentaries and two peer-reviewed journal articles, and there are hundreds of them out there to choose from. Logos, which is required for this course, is an excellent source for this outside research. As always, rubrics and due dates um, are under course resources. Feel free to call me or email me with any questions. Um, on your discussion post, I am looking for ongoing interaction over the course of the weekend. Um, some folks so far this semester are doing a fantastic job at that. Um, others, I would like to see improvement uh, in really trying to interact, engage, and get to know one another uh, by asking each other questions and engaging in conversation. Uh, so have a great week. I look forward to seeing what you come up with uh, regarding the land, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.